Hey there, thank you for tuning in to SimTech channel. In this presentation, you're going to learn about the various components found in an electrical substation. These electrical components, they are responsible for ensuring that power, electrical power that is, is safely delivered to the consumer with great efficiency and reliability. If you found this uh, presentation useful, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to SimTech channel for more presentation like this. Right, so what you see here is what is commonly known as a switch yard, right? So why is it called a switch yard? Obviously, because there will be a number of switching that will be performed in this yard here. So the keyword is switch yard. So there is a yard and there is a switch. Okay, so now when you look at a switch yard, you're going to see typically there will be an incoming transmission line. Now, this incoming transmission line could be voltages of levels such as 400 kilovolt, 132 kilovolt, or 66 kilovolt. Now, it is important to note that you can have two or three switch yards uh, stack up close to one another. And that is because if you are having an incoming uh, transmission line of 400 kilovolt, transmission line now this could be coming from a long uh, transmission line of like 400 kilometers so this 400 kilovolt uh, transmission line will arrive at a switch yard here it will then be stepped down to 132 kilovolt right now this 132 kilovolt must then be uh, transferred to another suburb or another town which is not far away from the switch yard. Now, this town could be located, let's say, at about 40 kilometers, right? Something like that. So now, it doesn't make sense to take the 400 kilovolt transmission line, cut it across to a 40 kilometer uh, suburb or city or whatever the case may be. So th th then this is why you're going to have a switch yard located at one uh, location remotely, and there they step it down and then they start to transmit to other location. Now, next to this switch yard, you can have another switch yard that will also step it down to what? 66 kilovolt. Now, this can also go to another location or it might be stepped down to 33 kilovolt to go straight to distribution transformers and feeders that will start feeding into different areas. Like I said earlier, in the switch yard here, there is a lot of components. Now, all these components, all of them, they are important and they perform certain tasks. Now, now some of the most obvious components to find on a switch yard will be a power transformer. So this one here will be the main guy. So this is the one that will take your 400 kilovolt and step it down to your 132 or any other voltage level, okay? And also on the switch yard, you're going to find tap changers. Now, tap changers, they work closely always together with power transformers as they have to maintain regulation. You're also going to find the, the, the circuit breaker. Now, these high voltage circuit breakers, they are also important. Now, one of the other components you're going to find will be your line arresters. Now, these line arrester or lightning arresters will also be very prominent on a switch yard so you're also going to find current transformers your cities or instrument transform just as voltage transformers so all these electrical component they are found in the switch yard and each one of these electrical equipment have a specific role to perform which is of converting or voltage stepping and regulations of voltages breaking of circuit in case of a circuit uh, short circuit fault current and also electrical protection in case of lightning and all other related fault and measuring with your cities and voltage transformers so if you stick around in this tutorial a uh, series of tutorial we're going to go through each one of these components bear in mind that these are just a few that i've mentioned there are many 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 uh, more of them that will be found on uh, an electrical switch yard. So the first equipment we're going to look at is the power transformers, right? So the power transformer here that you see is the most important equipment in an electrical substation. I mean, without it, nothing will literally be done. Just imagine 
on your distribution box in your house you are expecting a voltage of 230 volt right or 120 volt ac this is what you're expecting on your distribution box and the only reason you're getting this is because first off we've got a series of transformers along the transmission line and distribution line so that you can get to this level here but now if you are sitting at a transmission substation where you should be having this big uh, transformer here now the transformer is no longer available so now what if your power utility your supplier decide well we don't have a power transformer it's okay we're going to inject this 400 kilovolt into the distribution network well you know what will happen okay because your distribution network is only rated for voltages lower right that will be 66 kilovolt 11 kilovolt or 33 kilovolt so the minute you try to inject this 400 kilovolt in there you know what will happen it will blow up you won't be getting this uh, voltage onto your men's wall outlet okay so this is how important these power transformers are in the entire electrical grid well you may say okay well we can do away with power transformers and we just use small uh, distribution transformers well in that case then you have to design an electrical uh, power station okay next to every suburb where you want power to deliver because if you have a nuclear power plant located somewhere here and then you have a city that need to be powered by this nuclear power plant and the city is located somewhere about 400 kilometers away okay now you're not going to take 66 kilovolt here and try to transmit it here and then expect to have the same efficiency no 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 because you're going to have a lot of losses because this 66 kilovolt will not be transmitted with a low current it has to be transmitted with a high current so you can maintain that power okay so this is not going to be possible this is why for long transmission line you have to increase this voltage to 400 kilovolt or even 765 kilovolt okay this is important because once you increase it like this then you only need a little bit of current because this is not transformer properties and that will do the job to get your power from the power station to wherever the city you want to power okay so you can do away with power transformers if you are able to build a power station in every city and you know very well that is not practical okay how many power station you're going to have in your country okay so it's not going to make sense so power transformers they change the voltage level they step it down or they step it up they also regulate your voltage level and they also able to control the flow of uh, reactive power that is your kilovolt ampere reactive okay so they can control this flow because this reactive power is not good for your system so these power transformers will control it these power transformers they are rated to a voltage level of 132 kilovolt to a range of 765 kilovolt and their capacity ranges from 50 mva okay to about 1000 mega volt ampere which is really very big now the differences between the power transformers and the distribution transformers is obviously the the capacity the rating okay so you'll find distribution transformers will be rated to voltages of about 11 right 11 kilovolt to up to 132 kilovolt could be a distribution transformers and the uh, mva the volt ampere rating will be somewhere between 2 and 10 megavolt ampere okay so that is the only difference between them the rating now it's also important to note that these power transformers they are usually three-phase transformers as you can see the bashings here it show you that this is a three-phase transformer now if you don't have a three-phase transformer you can use three single-phase transformers as shown here and connect them in parallel so that you can come up with a three-phase transformer like a one single three phase transformers but the only thing you have to ensure that in order for you to uh, configure three single phase transformers in parallel so you can build a one uh, three phase transformer you have to ensure that 
they have the same primary windings okay must be exactly the same okay because they will be supplied from the same frequency and they should have the same polarities okay polarity must be the same and you must also ensure that the impedances the percentage impedances of these transformers must also be exactly the same if those conditions are not uh, respected then you're not going to have a three a three phase transformer built out of these single phase transformers now because you have three phase transformers so the equation change inside the transformer here now for a normal single phase transformer your connection is very simple all right assuming you only have this single uh, phase here so basically you're only going to have one coil coming in from the uh, primary and then another coil on the secondary straightforward okay so you have your step up or step down transformer but now you've got three coils okay so which means each one of these coils need to be one around your primary coils and you also have to run a configuration that will increase uh, the way your power is transferred efficiently and safely so now you got configurations that are star and delta as you can see here this is a star connection and this is a delta configuration each one of these configurations are important for specific application now we've been talking about the power transformers here which are mostly located in transmission substation that will be for long distance okay because you you must now have your star connection to configure for high voltage transmission line and also you can have this power transformer located next to generators like i've explained earlier here okay now because on the generator what you're going to have on the primary side will be your delta side okay because in the delta side you don't need a neutral connection so you're going to put it a delta configuration and then when you go on to the primary side you now need a neutral you see there is a small neutral here they're showing us here okay so this is on the star side so this configuration is used for long transmission line so you're going to have a delta star connection for your generator uh, power transformers now these two configurations they have advantages and disadvantages just like with everything but all we have to know for now is that the transformers used for distribution lines the one located the pole transformers like one of these pole mount transformers or the distribution transformer located on street corners they're going to have a star connection on the the secondary so this is because you need a neutral connection coming into your house because you're going to be supplied with a single phase right like this one here will be your single phase and that will give you 230 volt they can give you a, a three phase for you to have a phase two phase voltage that will be like 380 80 volt no they're not gonna give you that they will give you a single phase so which means the transformer need to have a tapping for the neutral so that will be the star connection right so i'm going to leave this here for now if you have some other comments or related question you want to post into the comment section you are welcome to do that and maybe tell us what we miss in this presentation but for now, we're going to leave it here. Stay tuned for the upcoming presentation where we're going to look at the other components that are very much important into the transmission substation or distribution substation. Because remember, the transformer alone here will not do the job itself. So it needs some other elements around it to ensure that it continues to operate safely. So that is it, guys, for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. If you like it, and you find it useful please subscribe to simtech channel and give it a thumbs up you are welcome to also share and spread the message until next time cheers